Hi, my name is Rick and I'm your Snow Country Guide. I'm gonna walk you through the process of adjusting a loop pivot binding. Loop pivot bindings are known for their reliability and precision. In the following steps, I will show you how to properly adjust this binding. The first thing we're gonna do is make sure the arms on the back piece are even. So pop the heel piece up and make sure the arms are even according to these indicators. After this, we're going to set the forward pressure on the back of the binding. On the back of the binding, we have this white forward pressure tab and these markers. For the right forward pressure, you want the white pressure tab aligned with the indicators when the boot is engaged. So let's engage the boot and see where we're at. In this example, you see that the forward pressure uh, indicator is too far forward and this means there's not enough forward pressure on the boot. So we remove the boot and snap the heel piece back up. And then we're gonna adjust both arms with the same clockwise rotations to make sure they're even. Let's engage the boot again and see what the forward pressure looks like. Now you see the forward pressure indicator is perfectly aligned uh, with the two markers. If you find your forward pressure indicator is somehow stuck, please give the back piece of the binding a twist to the side and you will reset the indicator. The toe piece of this binding is not adjustable in height. Make sure you got the correct AFD plates mounted for your boot. In this case we use a grip walk boot, so we got the grip, uh, grip walk pivot AFD. The final step of adjusting your pivot bindings is adjusting the DIN settings. If you want to know more about DIN settings, please check our video. We've linked it in the description down below. I write my bindings at a DIN 7, so let's set the front and the back of the binding to that number. For the back, we snap the heel part back up and rotate the flat head screw until the DIN indicator lines up with your personal DIN value. The screw to adjust your toe piece is located in the front of the binding. We rotate the screw to the indicator lines up with your own personal DIN setting. You're now ready for your next adventure. Always remember to check your bindings before each key session to ensure that your bindings are still properly adjusted. Properly adjusted bindings are crucial for safe and enjoyable skiing. If you find this video helpful, please hit the like and subscribe button below. Thank you for watching, enjoy the mountains.